everybody. I'm here with Jake Sofer from the Bitch and Barnacles. Bitch and Barnacles. <laughs> and um, they're a surf band from Portland, Oregon. And uh, I'm very excited to have them on. This is the first time that I'm meeting them and getting to know them. And uh, hopefully you'll, you'll dig them as much as I do. Uh, thanks for coming on, Jack. Jake. Of course. Yeah. No, uh, thanks for having me. So tell me a little bit about the Fish and Barnacles. Um, why you're, you're in that band now and, and the history of your, your musical story. Totally. Yeah. So um, I also play like I'm like a solo artist and um, I've been playing in bands, um, bands that have sort of been like my brain children and also just like, you know, sideman type stuff in the Portland, Oregon music scene for uh, almost a decade now. I've always really enjoyed surf rock. It's just like a really fun like version of rock and roll. I um, I love like reverb like that's definitely like my like Achilles heel um or a uh, kryptonite whatever expression yeah it's, it's just something i love and like i love just like spring reverb and all kinds of reverb and i play like a lot of ambient music too but surf music has always been just an interest of mine and a band of mine called easy their tiger uh we did a song that was like a surfy song i kind of like wrote something actually on like a 12 it was like a 12 string riff and it just like turned into a surf rock song and that was, I mean, like maybe five years ago. And I was like, I, I could do a whole band of this stuff. Like this stuff is just really fun. It's loud, it's energetic, it's, it's danceable, all of the above. Um, and so about two years ago, I, um, I was getting back from like a solo tour of, um, you know, just like my own like solo material. And I kind of got to work making a bunch of demos just in logic of like surf trio music. And like, it was mostly, arrangements of covers where I kind of like digested the the song, listened to it a bunch and uh, kind of like made up a guitar line and just did some like logic drums and they sound like a little corny sometimes, but I got the, the idea across and bass. Um, I love playing in trios. And so the results of that period of just making surf demos were three originals and seven uh, covers, just like instrumental surf arrangements of, um, of songs that weren't typically surf. Um, I love instrumental music. I love instrumental trio music and it fit really well in like a surf context. Um, and I eventually hired two people. One of them was a drummer, Ryan Weikert, who I had been playing with in my own trio, um, Jake Sofer trio for, for a couple of months. And then a bassist, Alden Zach. We learned the tunes and we played our first show in August of last year at No Fun Bar in Portland. Um, so yeah, and ever since, and right after that, we hired another guitar player uh, named Derek Schroeder, who does more rhythm stuff. Um, and we started to expand the set list to more like traditional surf standards. Um, and since then, yeah, we, we have a, rec a record uh, sort of in the works, um, just like a little EP of sorts. Um, and and yeah, that's, uh, that's as much as I can say for now about uh, the history of, of the Barnacles. Awesome, awesome. Uh, I, I took a, a, a look at your your page uh, on Instagram and um, as a fledgling band, I'm looking and I'm like, I'm like seeing like, like just deep influences on there. Um, t tell me, tell me about what it is like, not just your love, but like, what is it about playing surf guitar that, that um, like the reverb, like expand mm -hmm. on that thought. Yeah, that's a really good question. Um, yeah, like there's something about the style that's just really like kind of fun and like un unserious is a word that comes to mind. Um, I don't know if that's the best adjective, but I'll, I'll stick with it for now. Um, I think I'll start by saying like, I'm really drawn to like instrumental music as a whole, like I, both in the barnacles and well, maybe less in the barnacles because surf rock is kind of an instrumental thing. Uh, but definitely in like my own solo work, um, I get asked a lot like, oh, like, do you sing at all? Or would you ever consider singing? And um, it's like a maybe, but like, I, not, I'm not in like in a rush to do it. I think there's like a power to instrumental music. It doesn't need to be like translated into any other languages. There's like a universality to it. And um, that was, I think, just a, in my own personal journey as a musician, 
that was really empowering when I discovered like, oh, like I don't need to sing. There's like a bunch of music out there of a bunch of different styles um, that just doesn't have lyrics or like vocals. I mean, like vocal is like a kind of instrument in a certain way. And it's just, there's music that doesn't have that as, is it, as its instrument. Um, so that was really empowering. And I think that was just kind of a natural segue to surf music where it's like, yeah, this is kind of a, a vocalist genre and they were doing it, you know, you know, decades and decades ago. And um, there's something kind of like timeless about it as well. It just struck me as like with the, the non lyricism aspect of it. And also just like, it's just feel good, like kind of like a retro style of rock and roll, all of that, like really just enticed me to like, just write music in that style. Does that make sense? Yeah, awesome. Um, so we had in the 60s, uh, the birth of uh, surf surf music. Uh, the 80s, there's all kind of like an experimentation, mm. um, surf themes. Uh, the 90s, it exploded in through the 2000s. Um, did you get a sense at this time that, you know, there's more of a, an influx of that, maybe not like a, a fourth wave, but maybe just the vibe and like an influence on modern rock music? Yeah, it's it's a good question. Um, yeah, I think like from a young age, I had a guitar teacher growing up for like most of my childhood and he like, he, he was just torrenting music like left and right. It was sort of in like the early 2000s and he had a bunch of music that he gave me once and there was um, an album of surf music from the 60s and there was like Dick Dale and like the Ventures um stuff like that like the um there's some other bands and it was like a compilation but I kind of just knew it as like okay this is like 60s music or like early 60s music um and it wasn't until I started like studying surf music or like listening to it more while I was writing in that style where I realized like oh there was sort of like a renaissance period in like the 80s and then the 90s um, I became really into like the Mermen, like they have like a really special kind of flavor of like proggy surf rock. Um, there's a band like nowadays who I love, like the Greasy Gills, like they're fantastic for, from uh, the Bay Area. Um, the Verb Tones, they're here in Portland. We're playing a show with them with the Santana Bay Coconuts next month. Oh, great. Uh, which is going to be awesome. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll try and bring that up again later. But um, yeah, so I mean, like it, it was really interesting to me to be like, oh, this isn't just like a 60s thing like there's it's a vibe like it's an aesthetic um and it can be taken into a lot of different contexts or at least like you know you can like kind of absorb surf as like a language of music and right. like i don't know just kind of regurgitate other regurgitate is probably a bad word but like uh you know like you can like we have for example like some songs from like we have like a 70s disco song we do a version of like walk the line by johnny cash we like always end our sets with like the spongebob credits like like that kind of stuff so it's really fun just to see like how the language has evolved and it's really inspiring and just like figuring out what to play awesome awesome uh what what kind of guitar is that it's kind of looks like a, a jazz master yeah, it's an offset. It's actually uh, a 1994 Ibanez Talman. Um, and it actually, I looked up the serial number and it like has this, it was made in the same like month and year that I was born in. So it's a really special. Oh, nice. guitar. It came with like three like lipstick pickups, like kind of like a Strat configuration. Wasn't really a huge fan of the lipstick pickups. So I replaced it with, um, and had a different pick guard too. I put these like two P90s in it. They're made by like a local luthier named Ian Pender. Shout out to Ian, these are great pickups. Um, and the, this was all custom. Um, and yeah, it's just kind of like a nice like surfy aesthetic. It, it may not be in like a Puritan sense, like a, you know, like a Strat or like a Jag or a Jazz Master, but it, it sort of, it, it feels like surfy enough to me. So I'm, I'm running with it. Um, the interesting thing about this one is it's actually tuned to C standard. So it's like a nice, like kind of baritone-y type thing. Yeah. Um, and the other guitar player in the Barnacles, Derek, he plays just like a regular, it's like a, a kind of like a parts, like Jaguar. And I think it has P90s in it too. It's white. 
so yeah, when we both get on stage, it's kind of like a, enough of like a surfy aesthetic. We all have this shirt. We all have matching shirts. Um, but yeah, no, like I, I love this guitar. Um, it's really fun. There was a, uh, there, there's a little video clip of a dude surfing on your Instagram. And yeah. the music behind him was you guys, correct? Yeah, I think it was just one of the demos that I made, like in, in Logic. Um, yeah, that was, I think, at the beginning where I was trying to kind of like drum up interest for our first show. And we didn't really have any like recorded rehearsals or like we, we didn't have this like album that we're working on yet. Um, so I was just like, OK, I, I need to like make something for, for this show, um, our debut show last year. And um, yeah, the footage I got somewhere from YouTube. I, I'm pretty sure I credited the, the guy in the video apologies if i didn't I, I really should but um it was like some video compilation of like retro surf content um but yeah that was just a demo of like me on guitar me on bass and then logic drummer kind of helped us out but now we have a real drummer and it's a lot sweeter would you would you mind since you're plugged in and you could do a little sampling would you mind playing that tune uh to give the audience a little uh a little taste of what uh the Bishop Barnacles may sound like. Sure, yeah. Um, hopefully my microphone's picking up things okay. But oh, yeah. um, I think I'll um, I'll start with just like, um, let's see. Yeah, this one is called like Goblin Shark. Um, and it's sort of like a fast one. But yeah, it's like. <laughs> kind of like a short punky one um and i played like a little bit of that uh, spongebob like ending credits that we usually do when we're rolling the credits to our show um yeah yeah it's i feel like i'm not totally doing it justice because i don't have my bandmates here but uh you know they're elsewhere it sounds, it sounds great the reverb sounds great the tone sounds great so thank you so much i appreciate yeah. it yeah it's really fun music to play i mean uh i'll uh i'll, I'll just make this a quick tangent but like in the past, like I've, I like I've seen videos and I've just noticed to myself like how I act like on stage when I like perform, you know, with my guitar, and I tend to be really like stoic and like focused, and I just like look down and I like almost like still have like a little bit of stage fright, and I don't really want to like I'm trying to just like distract myself from the fact that there's like people in front of me. With like this band though, and I think just with the surf rock, it it, it kind of requires it. I'm so much more active. It's like, I'm like, I'm looking around, I'm bouncing, like, I'm just like making cool faces. Like I'm, I'm looking like a musician who's having fun and it's just fun to play. It's like the fun is like from the inside out. So um, yeah, no, it's, it's a really fun kind of genre to play with. I keep saying fun, but you know, it, it's true. It's fun music. Well, that, um, you know, then you, by, by being more, I don't know, present, you get that same vibe from the the audience, you know, they're having exactly. a blast and, and you're having a blast and like it gets everybody moving. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, like my bandmates are usually pretty good at like, you know, showing like pretty like animated body language on stage. Um, but yeah, it was just something I noticed. And, you know, I mean, it, it's a good thing to consider just in general, I mean, like you, uh, you're as performers, like you're there to, you know, perform and entertain. And the more excitement that you can, you know, inspire in the crowd in front of you um, through just seemingly little things like body language and smiling and um, moving around, things like that, the better. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh, well, Jake, before we sign off, I want to give you the opportunity to maybe mention something or talk about something I haven't asked about. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, the Bitchin' Barnacles, let me just get my calendar. We have a show in Portland, Oregon on, um, 
it's Sunday, October 6th. We will be opening up for the Santana Bay Coconuts. They will be on tour from Belgium. They're doing a US run. Uh, joining us is the Verb Tones. They're a great surf act, also based in the Portland area. Yeah, that's Sunday, October 6th at No Fun Bar in Portland, Oregon. To any viewers who happen to be in the area, come through. Um, other than that, we are working on an EP album of sorts. I think it's like maybe four, five, six songs that, that made it. Um, and we don't really have an ETA for that yet, but we've been working on the mixing process and hopefully we will get that out, you know, sooner than later and make a little like, you know, EP release show, something like that. Hopefully we'll get around to like live streaming it. Uh, cause I know there's like a oh, surf wow. community out there in the, in the world. Um, but yeah, I think those are the, the main updates that are top of mind. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, well, thank you so much, uh, Jake. I was I was very happy to get to to know you and, and listen to you play guitar. And uh, I wish you the best of luck, the Verb Tones, uh, and Kyle, uh, um, and, and Saint Anthony Coconuts. Uh, I know those guys, and uh, mm -hmm. I know you're gonna have a, a a great time. Kyle has a lot of history, you know, up here about definitely the, about the genre, so. Yeah, no, Kyle's been great just as a as a resource and, um, you know, like he's a, uh, yeah, so I'm really excited to, to get to know him more and to listen to his, his band, you know, do their thing and same with the coconuts. Yeah, it's going to be.